Good morning, Massachusetts. Today we're talking about the housing market in Essex County, comparing the three quarters of 2020. I'm quoting statistics for single family home sales. However, this information is also available for condos, multifamily and commercial as well. Just reach out and I can get you those numbers. If this is your first time here, subscribe and hit the bell so you will be notified when a new update is uploaded. I get calls and emails every day for people needing a real estate agent and I absolutely love it. Here at Huddle Real Estate, we buy and sell every home as it is our own and that means we listen to you for what it is you are trying to accomplish. So drop us a line and we can have a private conversation. Let's get started on the market. As many of you probably have heard, the housing market has been very tough for buyers and very nice for sellers. While the housing market has had about a one month supply of inventory, there are houses that have not sold and have lowered their price. Reviewing these properties, the issue is condition and typically very outdated for the requested price. I'm afraid HGTV has really sunk into the housing market and sellers wanting top dollar need to have either a current style move-in ready house or a fantastic location or both. Comparing Q1, Q2, and Q3, the median sales price in Q1 was $490,000 and rose to $518,000 in Q2, and for Q3 it was $560,000. Asking price versus sold in Q1 was 97.3%, in Q2 it was 99.5%, and in Q3 it was 100.9%. You can see the competitive nature of the market really reflective in the statistics. Average days on market went from 57 days in Q1, which isn't a surprise, but in Q1 and Q3, days on market were 38 and 37 respectively. The number of closed sales have been down all year compared to each individual quarter of 2019. And that's what I'm speaking of in terms of the number of house sales equaling the volume, not the price. For Q1, Home sales were 632, down 36 percent. Q2, 640, down 53.5 percent. And Q3, 572, down 55.8 percent. And for each quarter, there is about a one month supply, as I said. This is called the absorption rate. And the balance market usually has between five to six months worth of supply. If you are a buyer looking for a home, I would love to help you. Take a look at my home buyer class. It's in the link below. Likewise, if you're a seller, I have a six step program that can be applied daily, weekly, or monthly to have you get top dollar for your home and take advantage of this market if this is the right time for you. As always here at Hoddle Real Estate, we buy and sell every home as it is our own. Make it a great day.